What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here. This is not something I expected to wake up to today. A jailbreak has been released, albeit for a very small amount of devices currently active today. iOS 9.1 has been jailbroken and an official tool by Pangu has been pushed out today. You know, that's unbelievable to me. However, this may not be good news for everybody. You know, everybody has updated, went past 9.1 to either 9.2 or 9.2.1. For the small amount of people that do have iOS 9.1, this video will show you how to jailbreak. And before I get into the jailbreak, I just want to give the rest of you guys hope. You know, there is still hope that we will see an iOS 9.2 or 9.2.1 jailbreak fairly soon. ENMTW is very sketchy. He might not even have a jailbreak, but he is telling us that he will be releasing it before iOS 9.3 drops. And, uh, I don't know how true that is, but it's some glimmer of hope, you know, and Pangu has been working on this. They released this to us. Why couldn't they release a newer firmware to us either? So I'm very, very, very happy to show you guys this video, how to jailbreak iOS 9.1 on a Windows PC. Now this only works for 64 bit devices. So if you have an iPhone 5 or an iPhone 4S or iPad mini one on a iOS 9.1, this jailbreak will not work for you. It's only for iPhone 5S, iPhone 6, 6 plus, 6S, 6S plus, Plus, you know, iPad mini 2, 3, 4, iPad Air, iPad Air 2, iPad Pro, if you have it on iOS 9.1, and the iPod Touch 6th generation only. So uh, those are the only devices that this will work for. It's a bit buggy. You know, this is the first release. They always are buggy, but I'll walk you through any of the issues you guys might have with this video. So man, guys, this is a little bit unbelievable to me. And, uh, you know, I feel kind of bad because I was just setting this thing in for repair. I had to go back to FedEx, pick this thing up. This is the only device I have on iOS 9.1. So yeah, we're going to be doing this jailbreak with my shattered, tattered iPhone 6S, but it is on iOS 9.1. So to confirm, go into your settings, go to about, and you guys should see iOS 9.1 in the uh, carrier settings or uh, in the version number. So when you guys see that, you are ready to jailbreak using this tool. No, it is not possible to go back to 9.1 from a newer firmware, so you know there's no hope for that. Don't believe anyone that says you can. For everybody else sitting on iOS 9.2 or 9.2.1 right now, I beg you, do not update to 9.3 when it releases in just a couple weeks if you want a jailbreak. The best chance you have is to stay on iOS 9.2 or 9.2.1 where you are and wait this out. We didn't see this coming, yet it's here. Year, I see the same thing happening for iOS 9.2 or 9.2.1. So have patience, guys. Don't update if you're waiting for it. I know there are going to be so many upset people that can't do this that want to, but you know, I'm sorry. This is only for 9.1 devices. All right. So without any further hesitation, let's go ahead and jump into this. And I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 9.1 on your 64 bit device. So the first thing you want to do is pop your device into airplane mode. Then we're gonna go into settings, touch ID and passcode, put in any passcode you have and disable it. You don't have to erase your fingerprints, just turn off the passcodes for the duration of this video. Then go into iCloud, sign out of iCloud if you're in here. Other than that, we are ready. Now, if your uh, device is full to the brim, you know, you have no storage to take another picture even, you want to free up some space. This requires space and it will not go all the way through if you don't have all the memory for it. You know, have at least half a gig to a gig free. I would recommend it. Other than that, this is Windows only at the moment. The Pangu team will release an updated tool eventually. So uh, whew, we're ready to do this. It's been a while, man. It's been a while since I've shown you guys how to do anything jailbreak related. That's why I'm so excited even for this. I'll take whatever I can get. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get my 9.1 device and plug it in. Oh, and uh, I do apologize for cracks and all that. It's gonna be a little hard to see. And uh, I just want you guys to know that you should first trust your device on the computer. If uh, you clicked it on your device, you have to click it in iTunes as well. And yes, you do need iTunes installed. If you don't have iTunes installed, you don't have all the drivers necessary for your device. So uh, make sure that is installed. When you got that done, we're ready to go. I'll have the download links for Pangu in the description, guys. Uh, there will be a fast link and a regular link. And if you guys are wondering just, should I jailbreak? Why should I jailbreak? Why shouldn't I? 
you know, watch these two videos. I'll put them down in the description as well if you can't click them here. These will give you the best idea as to why you should and shouldn't do this. If you, of course, can, it'd probably be a very good idea to go and watch those. All right, so let's go ahead and close out of iTunes and we're gonna make our way over to Pangu 9 version 1.3.0. That's current right now. I'll keep it updated with the latest uh, version when that's out. Let's go ahead and open this guy. All right, so this is the message you'll see when uh, everything is all ready. Basically, phone rebels iPhone is jailbreak ready on 9.1. So we're gonna go ahead and click start. And this is basically telling us to do what we already did. The airplane mode, basically, I forgot to mention, back up your device as well. So back it up locally on your computer. That's what I would recommend before doing this. All right, so already back up and it's gonna go ahead and start jailbreaking. So in a little bit, it's gonna prompt you to unlock the device and click the Pangu icon. Once it does that, you know, we're gonna go ahead and do that, but I've never done this before. This is my very first try, so whatever errors we're gonna be experiencing, we're gonna be experiencing them together. And I'll have a troubleshooting guide down below as well, you know. A lot of people that are gonna be doing this, they will be encountering a ton of issues as the very, very first release of a jailbreak usually comes with a ton of bugs and all that. So, you know, everything will be down below in the description. Anyways, uh, I will sit through with you guys on this just so you know what it looks like when it should or what it should be doing. But right now it's waiting for the device to reboot. And in a second here, it should recognize it. Man, I did not expect this to happen today, for real. I would have been ready if I did, but I just wish uh, the jailbreak teams had more communications with us. You know, we never know what firmware we should stay on, what firmware we should be on for sure. You know, if they, you know, talked a little bit more with us, that would be a little bit clearer. But anyways, so it wants us to go ahead and turn on airplane mode once again after unlocking the device. We're gonna do that and the jailbreak continues. So we're at 65% now, should be finishing up here in you know very, very soon. So now it's asking us to open the Pangu app. We're gonna do that and uh, jailbreaking once again and I'm getting storage almost full, that's okay. So you guys may be wondering why Pangu only made this available on iOS 9.1. Well, that's because Loki Heart, a jailbreak developer, you know, shared an iOS 9.1 exploit, a kernel exploit with the Pangu team that he knew was patched in 9.2 and 9.2.1. So it was either release this or release nothing at all. So Pangu chose to release this one. So um, in a moment here, my device will start back up. Hopefully I have a working Cydia on it. That would be great. But as for 9.2, 9.2.1 jailbreak, hopefully that comes to, man, this is available only to a very, very small amount of people. So a 9.2 or 9.2.1 jailbreak would mean everything to us. All right, so just wanna let you guys know I was stuck in a boot loop. For some reason, my device wouldn't turn on, it just had the Apple logo on it. What worked for me was just to hold the home and power button until uh, the device turns off, then keep holding the power and let it boot. So uh, if you guys happen to get stuck in a boot loop, that is what you do to fix it. So let's jump into Cydia. It's gonna go ahead and prepare the file system. You guys can go ahead and uh, turn off airplane mode. You can go ahead and put your passcode back in and your touch ID. So we're gonna wait a few minutes here. It will set everything up and then we'll jump into Cydia on this broken, sad iPhone 6S. And guys, I just wanna prepare you. Because you're on a new version of the jailbreak, you know, the amount of tweaks, everything in Cydia will be incompatible. You will be unable to go ahead and install a lot of tweaks you used to be able to in the past. So uh, is this really happening? Let's go ahead and enable Wi-Fi first, and then we'll go ahead and uh, load all the Cydia stuff. So jump into Cydia after being connected to Wi-Fi. And oh my goodness, so, it's a little hard to see, but iOS 9.1, Cydia, latest 1.1.27. So you wanna go ahead and install all the latest updates that are found in here. Probably be a good idea. There's already an update for the Untether itself. And um, there, okay, so that didn't work. Redo, as you can see, there are, are quite the uh, amount of bugs so far. So this isn't even updating right now. So you wanna give it a few days. Things will you know, settle. There will be updates for Cydia, for the Untether, for other areas, for tweaks. Things will get better, but right now, there's only so many things you can install. Don't even install Winterboard. That will automatically crash your device right now. So make sure things get updated. 
then only install stuff. So guys, I just wanna say thanks for watching this video. Hopefully I could help at least some of you get a jailbreak, the small amount that are on 9.1. Otherwise, have patience, we'll be receiving a jailbreak very soon, hopefully I'll be sharing all the details on that with you. And uh, for everybody on this one, I'm sorry, I wish I could make it happen faster, but I really can't. All I can do is relay news to you when it happens. So be sure to stay tuned for more tweak videos. Have a great day and enjoy being 1% of the people being able to jailbreak today. Peace.